John Heyman, another one of our fabulous MLB Network insiders, tweeting out, Yankees are expected to take a run at Freddie Freeman, who they love. And why wouldn't you love Freddie Freeman? Uh, though first base isn't their real need, they love to fit one of the game's best lefty hitters into their lineup. And with the Braves now quickly wrapping up their star, all options are on the table for Freeman. And Chris, this, this is what I've been talking about as we take a look here at just Freddie's career resume. I mean, he's just, he's a dude. I mean, period, the end. But this is one of the things I've, I've been talking about. I, I, I was actually pretty shocked that the Braves were not able to come to an agreement with Freddie Freeman. We saw two billion plus dollars being spent before December 2nd and the, on the lockout hit. I thought for sure Freddie would be in the mix there. He has not been, and so... Everyone obviously thinks Freddie's going to go back to Atlanta, and it's a Jeter-esque type situation. He's the type of player who deserves to play his whole career with one franchise and right out in the sunset and potentially the Hall of Fame with, you know, that Braves jersey on. But some other teams who have needs and cash might not be willing to play along with that scenario, and I've always thought the Yankees could be in the mix here. I mean, Freddie – may have caught their bluff, and it may work out to, <laughs> to benefit him. I mean, if you have the Yankees come in on this or the Dodgers come in on this, it's going to push his price up. And now you got to, you know, start negotiations from the get-go. But if you can put Freddie Freeman in this Yankee lineup, last year we talked about how heavy right hand they were all year. If you can squeeze Freeman in between Judge and Stanton and then get a healthy Aaron Hicks, that lineup starts to look a lot more balanced and a lot more dangerous going throughout a regular season. And you can probably, you know, that slope of big drops that they have, maybe you can even that out a little bit and you get a leader in that clubhouse in addition to Judge, who they have. You get Judge and Freeman in that clubhouse, I think they could be game changers. As I sit here today, I cannot picture <laughs> Freddie Freeman not wearing a Brave uniform. Not today, I can't. <laughs> right. <laughs> but if there was a uniform he could put on, it might have the pinstripes in it uh, to sit there and go there. It, it, it's one of those things. The only difference I would think than him and Jeter, the difference I would think than him and Jeter, been in championships yeah. early in his career and, and had that kind of career. Freddie's had that kind of career as far as being a player. He won the world championship last year. And I wonder if that has any effect on the idea of the Braves saying, okay, I don't want to be caught on an aging star. I'm not saying he's going to be an aging star because I think this man can go out there and just rake. But is that the difference right there where they would be willing to let him go? Because I, I agree with both of you. As soon as you start bringing in the pockets of the Yankees or the Dodgers conversation, if the Braves want him back, the price tag went up. You can't let them go. You can't get and the, and the Yankees, they have to make a splash. Like they don't they don't have a choice when when things come around, their fan base is looking for them to make a splash. And if they don't get Freeman, then I feel like you slightly get a panicky move trying to go Maybe. get you a try to go get you a big shortstop. I feel like Freeman is the guy and if they they can bump his price up and if they want him they can get well, him. Well, and he just checks off so many boxes and we're about to go to break, but leadership mm -hmm. check. I mean, offense, check. Short porch and right field, check. Durability. And durability, Every day. check. And defensively, he makes your infield really a lot better <laughs> with the way he plays first. Correct. Game, so.